Today I will demonstrate the process of reverse engineering this plastic bottle. Something you might do if you needed to create tooling for manufacturing or for the purposes of packaging or labeling. To perform this task, we will use the Microscribe MX Portable CMM and DesignWorks reverse engineering software for SolidWorks. I will start by creating the neck portion of the bottle and then using DesignWorks lock plane functionality, take a cross section and revolve it to create the main body and complete the bottle. We start by using DesignWorks circle command to plot some points around the diameter at the main body of the neck. Then, using the extrude command, place the probe at the desired point and extrude the geometry as required. Next, repeating the process, we open a sketch and again plot points, only this time around the upper lip at the neck and then again extrude the geometry. Repeat this process a third time to create the base of the neck where the cap will seat. Again, create an extrusion and that portion of the neck is completed. Now, I will open up a sketch on the top plane and using DesignWorks lock plane functionality, simply place the probe on the part and drag back and forth. And as I do this and cross the imaginary plane, the plots are pointed and create a cross section that we'll use for the main body of the bottle. I'm going to use the line command for the bottom face of the bottle. and use SOLIDWORKS tools in order to convert the entity from the neck. Go ahead and do some simple trimming. Now, create a line through the center axis of the part. Trim that data off. and our sketch is ready to be revolved. Use SOLIDWORKS to create a revolved sketch. And the primary shape of the bottle has been created. If we wanted, we could go ahead and insert a shell feature in order to add some wall thickness. And as you can see, very quickly and easily, this plastic bottle has been reverse engineered.